this is where the place was buried. Turunyo, the deceased called Longole Paul Domongoria was um, arrested, picked in his house on the night of Saturday the 6th by the soldiers of Komuturunyo Detach. And when he was taken there, it's uh, an uh, allegations that he was tortured and then and then after that he succumbed to death. In the room, after capturing them, they took them inside to their detach. From their detach, they were beaten, all of them were beaten and they were really tortured, badly off. And they used strings for tying their testicles to certify either it is true or it is not true for the true allegation for non allegated things. It was alleged that he had a gun and for real he didn't have what a gun. There was no proof to show that he had a gun. But he was forced and out of those tortures the guy passed away. After passing away on Friday's night, people were not allowed to come to the detach where the incident has occurred. They treated him and they told the chairperson, you take now your person to bury there. But I said, this is not true. Sincerely, Ugandans, it's not true. When someone has been arrested in the police or died in the police cell, he has to be, he has to be what? He has to be buried there. But they took him to, our, to, to where he was buried by the, by the, by the army themselves. Not even a, a hink of a leg was, was dead, but, and was just thrown like that with soil. And we need really help from you people. We really need some serious things about this issue. And the soldiers were just there. No one was accepted to come here. Only the soldiers plus uh, their commander and the ones who brought that person up, up to here. They used to force. No one was allowed even to cross the road like this. For us, we told them, like, you take to Matan because this land is there in Matan. They are like, ah, that's just wasting food. He was buried without even the people accepting the burial. And that's the reason why the burial is now really taking place today. The people have brought the coffin to rebury because the way they dug just a half feet. And now the person is gone. I'm also glad to the army they took the the action that we instructed them to uh, to arrest the perpetrators, those who were arrested. Already three soldiers, including the command of Komturunyo, is uh, under arrest, detained. Now we want the government to pursue this uh, issue because the deceased has lost. The deceased that we have lost have left many people behind, especially the children. There are five children that are in school, primary four and primary five. So we are totally against the injustice that occurred in Komuturunyo. Now we are appealing to government to find a way of helping the family of Domoria, especially the children, how to raise the children and how to help the children to succeed because he was the only breadwinner in that place. And those who who are phone of torturing people, they should be actually be brought to, to book, especially the soldiers who are not humanitarian enough, they should actually suffer the same injustice they offered to this uh, Longoria the late. There were three, and they are in our custody, but also along with other civilians that will aid in investigations. The postmortem was carried out by the police and so the report will be revealed at an opportune time. We cannot accept any act of torture, any form of torture in this ongoing operation. We condemn the acts of torture with totality. Our joint intelligence and the crime team are jointly investigating the alleged incidents which happened on the 7th of this month in Nampaka district.
as we stand now, there is no element of torture whatsoever, though we conducted arrest and we have suspects from both the uh, civilian side and uh, some soldiers. Because they can provide you information. So work mostly with the LOC ones and the peace community. They will be able to lead it to help you. And the people that are disturbing us a lot, we know the GA. What happened here could have been operational mistakes mm. or challenges within work. And this should not confuse and distort the community towards yeah. the fight for peace. Upon yeah. the whole community, with him closely and closely okay. so that we sustain peace within this place. <laughs> Ngoria, Nakanifi. Abuakuju, Okonimoka Yongotema. Rai Nitumalu, 